Hello and welcome to this lesson. We covered data visualizations earlier on, but we never went to details. In this case, I want to introduce you to visualizations in details and explain and show you examples of data visualizations that we will use in this course. And uh, let's move in and start by defining visualization. Data visualization is graphical representation of information to uncover patterns, trades, and insights. It plays a crucial role in BI by making complex data more accessible and understandable. Then the principles of effective visualizations that we looked at is clarity. That is, uh, the visual representation of data should be clear and understandable to the audience then it must be relevant. That is, it must uh, have a clear context to the current data and uh, why the visual representation is important in that case. Uh, then the data representation should be accurate. That is, the data used and the visualization uh, representing that data must be accurate. Then it should be simple and consistent. Uh, simplicity comes in because the audience must be able to understand the visual representation without uh, struggling. And uh, the representation must be consistent in that there are no unexplainable changes and uh, interactivity is where the data, the audience can interact with the visual representation to make more sense of the data. Uh, let us look at uh, types of visual representation of data. Data visualization enables business to spot data trails that would otherwise be challenging to decipher. This graphical representation of data empowers analysts, that is BI analysts, to visualize concepts and detect emerging patterns more intuitively. Here are some of the standard uh, data visualization techniques. A data can be represented using dashboards. Uh, it can be represented using graphs, infographics, uh, geospatial data, that is geospatial maps, and uh, we also have videos and slides. In each of these uh, representation, uh, there is the target audience and the specific data that must be represented, for example, Dashboards are uh, commonly used to represent uh, key performance indicators, that is KPIs. Uh, graphs are used to represent what we call uh, data with trends, while the geospatial representation are used to represent geographical data. Videos and slides are used to help BI professionals present this data to the executive teams. Then we have, we'll first cover charts and graphs. That is cases where charts and graphs are applied, what they are and uh, when we should use them. Uh, graphs and charts serves as one of the most uh, powerful tools to convey complex information in visually accessible manner. Both are graphical representation, but they differ in their structure and application. A graph is a visual representation of data that displays the relationship and connection between various data points, while a chart is a visual representation of data that uses graphical elements such as bars, lines, slices to convey information. Charts are particularly effective for illustrating patterns, trades, and comparison within data sets. Let's dive in and look at different components of a chart. Uh, a chart uh, have the axis, that is the horizontal and the vertical axis. We have the horizontal. In this case, we are representing the customer. Then we have the vertical axis, which represent the income in our example. Then we also have the data series. Our first customer, we have, three we have four entries 
and also for the other customers. These are the data series represented using these bars. And notice that each data series has a different color that is identified in the legends. We also have the grid lines, uh, which helps us to decipher uh, the data entries in the data series. Then we also have the chart title, we have the plot area, we have the chart area, and then we have the axis and axis title.